Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. My name is Danny Kerr and I'm here at Twickenham for Get Your Shirt On. Now, you've already had Nolly and you've had Ugo taking you through a session. They were in the Twickenham gym. Now, they've reserved a pretty special place for me. I'm in the RFU President's Room, which may be a sign that in a few years time I could be the next RFU President. I don't know, up to you, let's see how we go. But all you need, get your shirt on. If you haven't got your club shirt on, Go and get it now. We're in tough times at the moment in lockdown, but we want to get up, get active and support your community club. So go and get your shirt on. Meet me back here. All we need is your shirt, a water bottle, a rugby ball if you've got one, or I've even got a cushion or a pair of socks. Whatever we can do, make it safe, but we're here to have fun. So meet me back here. We're going to do a quick warm up. A huge welcome to all you under 15s to under 18s. We're going to do a five minute warm up. Come with me on this one. I'm going to do the exercises. Just need to follow me at home. Let's have a bit of fun with it. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to just jog on the spot. Right, and then the first thing we're going to do is going to be an upper compete drill. So I'm going to use a cushion. Grab a cushion as quick as you can. Get your mum and dad to throw you a cushion. Put a ball or a pair of socks in front of it. We're going to lie to the side of the, of the cushion. When I say compete, up off the ground, jump up onto the ball. Pretend to rip the ball back to the side on the floor again. So down in the ground. Up and compete, take the ball. Now on this, we don't want to give any penalties away, so we don't want to be up and running into the side. Nigel Owens, get his, he'll get his whistle out, get his cards out, you'll be off the pitch. So we need to have good, te good technique, good discipline, bounce off the ground, through the gate, nice and low, rip the ball. You see how Sam Underhill does it, how Tom Curry do it, how Ben Earl does it, Jack Willis. They are so quick off the ground, so that's what I want you to really try and focus on is up and compete, off the ground, the ball's away before the attack can play. Great work on that one. Second one, we're just going to be catching high balls. Mike Brown, England's most experienced fullback, one of the best in the business. His technique, he always says, you want to get off off the ground, two feet off the ground, don't need any space underneath your elbows, otherwise you're going to drop the ball. So nice and high, catch the ball. So just, if you've got a ball or a pair of socks, ball in the air, make sure you keep, keep your eyes on the ball, Bring the ball into your chest, nice and secure. Diffuse the bomb. And if you want, if you've got a pair of socks, so you're not breaking anything, throw it a bit higher. Test yourself with some bad throws. Make sure you come onto the ball, up and compete. Next one we're gonna do, my favorite, obviously got a bit of a scrum half twist to this, just a scrum half pass from the ground. So you're gonna be jogging the spot. When I say pass left, you're gonna run in, Set your base nice and low, get your right foot as close as you can to the ball, transfer the ball, pretend to transfer the ball. If you come to the side, right right foot, right hand pass, and look at that, the ball comes straight back to me. It's, just, it's like magic. Okay, and again, jogging on the spot, we're going to go left hand pass this time, nice and low, finish your hands all the way through to the target, and as the ball does, whenever I pass it, it goes straight to the target every time. Right hand pass, straight to the target, straight back. Let's go last, one more off the left, left hand pass, straight down. And my favourite one of, the, of them all, we're going to run in, we're going to do the big Ben Young show and go. I saw Dan Robson at the weekend score against Georgia, big show and go. So we're going to run in, plant our feet, look like you're going to pass, run through, score the try, kiss the camera, take the credit, same again, left hand. I think we're going to pass, we're showing and going. We're scoring a try, so make sure you watch out for those guards' eyes. If their eyes aren't looking, on you, uh, looking at you, I know there's a bit of space for me. Right, the last one, we're going to go Owen Farrell's kicking. Call this the Owen Farrell kicking section. Loads of different types of kick. First kick he does is a long punt. We're not going to kick the ball, but we're just going to practice good technique. So you hold the ball in two hands, long kick, foot straight through to the camera. Left foot again, this time straight through to the camera. Let's do another one on our right. Right foot, straight through to the camera. One more on the left, long clearance kick, Elliot Daly style, straight down the other end of the pitch. Now I'm going to go to the box kick. Any of you scrum halves out there, anyone who fancies themselves as a scrum half, just get good technique practice from the floor, bringing it back, holding it on in one hand, kicking out. Let's do that a bit quicker. Bring it back, kick through. Make sure you follow, your foot goes all the way to the top of your hand. If you can touch, if you touch your hand with your toe, you've done a good kick. That's off the right. Let's do a few off the left. Same again. Try and kick your hand. 
Another box kick off the left. For all you forwards out there, I'm sure this is hilarious. For all you parents with forwards as kids, please send us the videos of them trying these, these movements. I love to see forwards kicking. Don't ever put yourselves in the box. You can, if you want to kick, you should kick. The last one we're going to do is a little grubber kick. Aaron Fowler uses this a lot. Runs to the side, ball down, little, little grubber. Same again. I'm going to use a pair of socks here and I'm going to actually kick it. So to the right, little grubber kick, chase the kick through, big chase. Let's go off the left, to the left, place the ball right on the foot, grubber kick through. Make sure your body's facing where the ball wants to go. And normally the socks go that way. Last one, off the left, grubber kick straight in the corner. We're chasing through, putting them under pressure. Great warm up guys. Make sure you stay hydrated. Hopefully I can see, yeah, you've all got your shirts on. Parents, please keep sending in videos, sending in pictures, hashtag get your shirts on. We're into the session. Thank you for being here with me on this lovely Sunday morning, guys. We're gonna move on. I know you guys have been doing a lot of speed, a lot of power work, a lot of jumping with, with Nolly and with Ugo and the England Rugby Activate program. We're gonna go through these again. Hopefully at home, you're seeing some improvements and some of these explosive movements. Now, I was in the squad for a long time with people like Johnny May, Elliot Daly, Anthony Watson, Jonathan Joseph. These are things that these boys practice day in, day out, and it, you can see you can see it on the pitch why they're so springy, why they're so quick, how they sidestep so effectively. So we're gonna go firstly for the single leg hop and stick. So we start on our right leg. Remember the big hop, and you've got to stick it, okay? So right leg again, single leg, explosive movements, use your arms. Get there, don't try and go too far so you fall over. If I really go too far, I can't stick the landing. So try and work at a good distance, sink nice and low, fire your quads up, explode out of the movement, big hop and a big land. Let's do that on the left leg now. We've done three on the right, left leg. Is that as good as your right leg? Oh, I didn't, I didn't land it, that doesn't count. Left foot again, big explosion, big land. Really working on your explosive power here. Sometimes you'll find in rugby you have to just use, use the one leg to get out of a situation and this is the type of stuff that really helps develop the strength there. Left foot again, big hop, big stick. Brilliant work guys. Now we're going to go on to the skater hops. So similar thing, it's going to be single leg. You're going to start on your left leg, go to the right, bounce back. Now on this, I want to see you springing far. Don't test yourself too far but I need to see straight away the bounce back. These are the types of things Johnny May, he's like a gazelle, he's so high, because he practices this all the time. Let's just do two more on each side. Hopefully you're blowing a little bit like me at the moment. Hopefully you can feel the legs pump, filling up with some blood. Now we're gonna go to the side to side pogo hop. So this time, two legs. And this time, I know you guys have been working on this. Make sure you lift your toes up, keep bouncing side to side, get your toes up, get that springiness, use all the muscles in your feet, in your calves, try and get as high as you can, but as soon as you hit the ground, get off the ground, pretend the ground's on fire, got to jump off as straight as you can. Great explosive work there. Now we're going to move on to the broad jump test. Now for this, we want to see how far you can jump. So a single, a single jump, if you've not got space in your living room, just practice explosive jumping as high as you can. Maybe you can get out in the garden later and practice how far you can get on one broad jump. Again, Johnny May, one of the best jumpers. If, if he wasn't a rugby player, he could go to the Olympics, I'm sure, and do long jump because he's unbelievable at this, but because he practices it all the time. So just, just from the side, two feet, jump as far as you can. And parents, probably a good time to get the cameras out. These will be some good footage and make sure you send them in to us. We want to see who can jump the furthest. Between the under 15s and under 18s, we want to see who can jump the furthest. If you've got a ruler, you can measure it. Brilliant. Let's just do one more. Big jump. Make sure you stick it. Don't go too far so you won't stick it. Hopefully, you're as tired as I am. You need a bit of water. Let's take a quick break here. Grab your water bottles. Catch your breath. Parents, hopefully you've got some good footage. Make sure you send us, send us your videos, send us your pictures. Hashtag get your shirts on. I'm sure the boys and girls are looking amazing in their club shirts. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself on this Sunday morning. 
You're not as tired as I am, a little bit out of breath, but I'm getting a bit old. Hopefully you guys at home are really enjoying yourself. Right, we're gonna go, we're gonna do the same thing all over again. This time you guys are gonna do the work. I'm gonna stand and watch. We're gonna start with a single leg hop and stick. So remember, really key here, if we all start on our right leg, sink nice and low. We need to get in that almost sprinter stance just on one leg. Feel your, you can feel your quads and your calves, everything getting ready, and then you need to explode out and, and land. Don't forget to use your arms on this. If you just hop like this, you'll go half the distance. Just feel the difference of when you really use your arms to give you that spring. I didn't, I didn't stick it, doesn't count, but let's do one more on the right-hand side. Big leap, big stick. Brilliant work. Let's go left leg now. As I said again, really lock and load the leg to then explode up and stick it. And remember, use your arms. Let's do two more of them off the left leg. Really fire your arms through. When you see any one of the, the jumpers at the Olympics, they really use their arms to get through, bring all the momentum through. Let's finish on that one. We're gonna go to skater hops. And again here, I'm looking for quality, quality rather than quantity. We wanna get off the ground quickly but you need to move effectively. So remember, from left to right, start slowly, and then when I say go, everyone's doing this, when I say go, we're gonna go quicker, quicker, go. Keep bouncing, remember, and keep using your arms, like you would if you're sprinting, like you would if you're Chris Ashton at Twickenham, who's just gone round Drew Mitchell to score one of the greatest tries in England history, he's using his arms. Keep going, five more, one, Two, three, four, five. Brilliant work, guys. Quick three seconds breather. We're going to go to the side to side pogo hop. So rather than two legs, rather than one leg, we're going to go to two legs now. Remember, really focus on lifting your toes up. As you jump, lift your toes up. Let's try and do it. Explosive. Keep going, guys. That's it. Keep jumping. You've got 10 more seconds of jumps. Keep going, brilliant work. As we said, parents, please keep sending your pictures. Let us know where you are. Let us know how you're getting on if you're enjoying these Sunday mornings. And great work, rest there. Last exercise before we get a proper break is the broad jump test. Remember, two feet, one broad jump as far as you can. If you've got a ruler, if you've got space, try it now. If you haven't got space, let's just try and do a standing jump as high as you can. Remember, use your arms fire up in the air but if you have got space remember the biggest jump you can possibly do drop down like you're a skier explode out with your arms and your legs land it I think that could be a record that could be a record I definitely could beat Hugo he's he's too old anyway these days and especially yeah I'd definitely nolly let us know how you're getting on parents film the attempts please send us in send us how far you've got let's just do two more broad jumps fast as you can, as hard, as far as you can, sorry. Yeah, here we go, everyone down, everyone down together for the last one. Three, two, one, jump, stick it. Good sesh. Amazing work so far, guys. We made it to the final block, and this focus is all gonna be on strength and foundation movements. And again, we're all about quality rather than quantity for these first few exercises. All exercises that we use, the Red Roses use, England Rugby use, I Harlequins use. First one's gonna be a forward lunge, simple forward lunge, just good technique, good long position. Try and get your knee all the way down to the ground, quick touch and back. We're gonna do eight on the right leg, nice and deep. Try and fire up the hips, fire up the quads. Make those legs look good in these tight shorts that I've got on. How many is that? I don't know. Let's do two more to make sure. And we'll go straight into the left foot. Nice and deep lunge. So key in rugby flexibility. Whether you're getting over the ball, you're bending down to pass for kicking, you've got to get these, these hips, these hips and the back nice and mobile. Well, let's do one more on the left. Nice and deep. Push back. We're going to go straight into squats. So squats about feet about shoulder distance apart. Good technique. Stick the big backside out, let's do 12. Let's see how low you can go. You could probably go a lot further than me. Here we go, that's four. My microphone's falling off, it's fine. 
we just adapt. Let's keep going. That's six. Hopefully the quads are getting a little burn. Let's go quick for the last five, four, three, two, one. Great work, guys. We're going to take it to the floor now. Just going to do a glute bridge, activate the hamstrings and the glutes. Line down like this, tilt your pelvis up, hips all the way, pointing. Take your time on the way down, don't just fall down. Let's go up again, really try and feel it in the hamstrings. That's two, that's three. Parents, if you sat on the sofa with a cup of tea or a coffee this morning, get on the floor, you can join in with the kids. Get your shirt on as well. If you've got a shirt, if you've got your community shirt on, parents, we want to see pictures of you as well as the kids. Let's just go for three more of these. One, two, three. There we go. Hopefully the legs are all comfortable now. We're now going to go to a little, little test. We're going to go for some push-ups. And I don't want any of these Mike Brown in the gym. This is what Mike Brown does in the gym. One, two. That ain't that. That ain't a push-up, all right? This is a push-up, okay? All the way down, chest to the floor, back up. Good technique. Let's just practice a few. Do three or four on your own. And then we're going to go 30 seconds. Now, this is going to be a nationwide competition. Do you want to be, do you want to be known as the strongest girl or boy for push-ups in the country? So parents, get your film, get your videos out. We're going to go for 30 seconds. We're going to see as many as we can. We're going to do this twice. So you've got to get as many as you can in in 30 seconds. But I need good technique. And I've got some, got some pretty harsh judges. So when you send them in, if you think you've done 30, you've only done 15 because they're half reps. They're not counting. So I'm going to come to the side so you can see good technique. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, steady, go. One, two. All the way down. Need that chest to touch the ground. Keep going. Parents, hope you're filming. If you're not filming, get up, get on the floor. Start doing some press-ups with the kids. How long we got? We've got 12 seconds to go. Keep going. I know it's a burn. Keep going. If anyone's struggling, go onto your knees. You can do a few more off your knees. Keep going. And we're done. Oh, see, look at that. Key just before you go into a party or out to the cinema, wherever you're going, go for a coffee when this lockdown's finally over. You want to do some presents before you go out. Awesome work, guys and girls. Let's just get a quick drink. Take a breath. Parents, hope you got some good footage. Or I hope you're as tired as we are because you joined in. All looking brilliant in your shirts. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you for supporting. Get your shirt on, supporting your local clubs. We're going to go through the whole thing again. Hopefully the arms take a bit of a breather because we've got 30 more seconds of push-ups to do. Okay, let's go the legs again. Let's work the legs. We're going to do forward lunges. Remember this one, this is all about quality rather than quantity. Let's start on the left foot this time. Good lunge, nice and deep. Touch down with the right knee on the floor and back up. That's three, four, brilliant work. Keep going, five, six, Seven, eight, straight to the right foot. Great work, good lunges. As we said, so key for rugby, all these movements, these, we're trying to make them dynamic. Rugby is incredibly dynamic, getting faster and faster each, each year. Keep your legs pumping, let's do one more of them. Straight into the squats. Mums and dads, get off the sofa. Let's all do some squats together. Here we go, I can see you getting up, yeah, put your tee down, ready, here we go, 12 squats, nice and deep, here we go, there's two, microphones going again, four, five, I'm even doing it with some weight, if you're bored, if it's too easy, grab a water bottle, use a bit of weight, make it a bit harder, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, 12. Let's take it to the floor now. Let's do some glute bridges. We just got eight glute bridges. I know you're all getting ready for these push ups. Remember, good form, straight up. Feel it in your hamstrings, feel it in your glutes. That's two. Let's go for eight here. Three, four, 
Really push through your heels to drive up your hamstrings. Six, couple more. Seven and eight. Right, here we go. The legs are done. We've got to get that pump on, haven't we? Everyone at home, let's get ready. We're going to put 30 seconds on the clocks. And we're going to, okay, I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. I wasn't meant to, but I'll do it with you. So we're all down. Remember, perfect form. Parents, if you're not doing it, please film. Let's see how many we can get. Okay, are we ready? 30 seconds. Ready? Steady. Go. Keep going, guys. Awesome work. If you're struggling, remember, go to your knees. You can press up for your knees. If you're really struggling with your arms, let's do squats. Keep going though if you're doing press-ups. You've got eight seconds to go. Remember, whatever you can do, if you can do press-ups, brilliant. If you're front clapping, you're really taking the mickey. And we're done. Awesome work. Let's get our breath. Have a quick bit of water. So what we need you to do, guys, is add up your two scores from your press-ups. So if you've got 15 in the first one, you've got 15 in the second one, obviously you've got 30. Quick maths. Uh, send us that in, send your videos in, send your scores in. More importantly, hopefully, next Sunday, uh, this lockdown will be lifted. And what we need to do is we all need to get back to our clubs. Make sure you get back to your clubs, ring your mates, make sure we're all hopefully down there on Sunday if we can. If not, we'll be coming with you with some more fun stuff to, to get involved with. But thank you so much for joining us the past three weeks. I hope you've had a good time. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Everyone stay safe. Hopefully see you soon.